Well, welcome back to Meetings Africa. It is the first time that this event has been held now in person. It's a big exhibition. Obviously, a thousand people allowed inside the convention center for this exhibition. This is basically to display South Africa's meeting and exhibition, uh, what we have got to offer. But not only South Africa, we've also got uh, some exhibitions from neighboring countries, not only neighboring countries, but from Africa. And happy to be chatting to the representative that's here from Rwanda, who's actually got, they've got their stall here. From 2015, they've been showcasing what Rwanda has to offer. And I've got uh, Janet Karamera, who's the deputy CEO of the Rwanda Convention Bureau. Great to have you. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. I, I, I'm sure you are. I mean, this is a, I think everybody that I've spoken yes. to so far has been very happy that this is happening yes. um, in person, that we can actually finally start getting people back onto the continent and into yeah. the countries to try and get this uh, industry kick-started. Yeah. So talk to us about your decision to come and showcase this year? Well, thank you. Um, so for sure it wasn't um, a, a straightforward decision. Um, with uh, the pan pandemic still going on, we still had to really think through if we were going to come, um, what is the risk attached to that, but really the benefits outweigh the risk. For us to come here, be again with one of all of our peers and colleagues in the in the mice industry, the business events industry in Africa, showcase what Rwanda, that Rwanda is open and Rwanda is open for business, uh, is very important for us. Um, it's great to learn more, like yesterday we had workshops, so we're learning what are the trends in the industry, what is the future for the industry. So really it's important for us to be here to showcase Rwanda and to remind people and to inform people that Rwanda is open for business. How has it been for you? Because at the end of the day, I mean, it has been tough for, for the whole world and it certainly, I, I imagine Rwanda has been no different. Has your entire sector and industry been closed? Is it slowly opening up now or are you finding that a lot of companies are now saying, no, we, we're doing this. Yeah. We are now opening up and we're going to start having these events in person. Yes, for sure. As you mentioned, it was hard for, for Rwanda. Uh, it was hard for our economy. It was hard for the human, the, the citizens of Rwanda because we did go through a few uh, lockdowns. But fortunately, due to government efforts and the, uh, and the real efforts from our health sector, we were able to reopen in Ju July 2020. So right after that, our airport opened. We were able to come back to business. We had events uh, since September. Um, we've been having events even through lockdowns with serious uh, protocol, COVID protocols. Um, fortunately, our, 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 our government has uh, allowed us to have vaccinations. Um, about over 50%, 55% of our population is now vaccinated from 12 years old and up. So that means our students are back in school, have been back in school for a while. Um, people are back in the workplace and we've been working really hard to make sure that people know that you can come to Rwanda to do business. Yeah, which is which is very, very important. And I mean, I think that this is a, this is the, the first step in the direction of showing the world that we can open up. But, yes. you know, one of the difficult things is, you know, funnily enough, when you, when you see something happening in Africa, automatically you think to yourself, no, this is worse than anywhere else in the world. Yes. And we must stay away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we almost have to work doubly hard to show the world, you know, I mean, what's, we, we, you've been through the same thing exactly. as us. Exactly. Why, why do, you, do you think that we're not handling it? Exactly. Do you find that that's it as well, that the confidence from the rest of the world yes. is now something we have to regain? For sure, I agree. It's always been an, uh, a challenge in our industry and in the, in the tourism industry to show what we have as offerings and that, how diverse it is and how South Africa is not the same as Rwanda and Rwanda is not the same as Morocco. However, but there are m uh, many tourist um, uh, opportunities. And then also now with the COVID protocols, we had to really show uh, that we were even more serious. Uh, mask mandates, uh, lockdowns that allowed us to reopen. Our vaccination rates are even as high as almost nine, in Kigali alone, nine, over 90%, 98% of our population is, is vaccinated. So that's numbers you don't hear everywhere. Yeah. So for us, to, we need to remind people, we need to share those stories and open our doors so that people can come and visit and really allow people to come and visit and see what we have to offer. Janet, I'm just going to pause you for one second. I need to say goodbye to SABC2 viewers at this point. Thanks very, very much for watching, everyone. We're continuing on SABC News with this conversation. Have a beautiful day. We'll see you again tomorrow morning. So thanks again, SABC2. Bye-bye.